There should be a big red button around here somewhere. Found it. The Woody Show. Last night was the State of the Union address. And I don't think we've ever done have we ever done this before? I don't, no, think I, don't I don't believe so. I don't think so. Greg Gory is going to update us on what's been happening with the Woody Show over the last twelve months. It's our firsties. Our first yeah. ever yeah. Woody <laughs> Show. <laughs> State of the Woody Show address. Well, thank you so much, Woody. Master of Ceremonies. And Madam Crap on Celebrities, Mr. <laughs> Social Media Director, Mr. Creative Producer, and Mr. Executive Producer, we meet here on this sacred studio ground of unlimited capability for joining fun. Millions of Woody Show listeners are gathered this morning, joining our mission of food news, immature replies to text messages, fail stories, and freaks of the week. And I am proud to report the state of the Woody Show is indeed strong. Nice! Yeah! Yeah! For a second. Now, the early part of the year may have gotten off to a rough start with Santa skipping Woody's house, leaving uh. his daughter Fecal upset and confused. Mm. <laughs> Our top resolutions were to eat better, get more exercise, lose weight, and reduce stress. And although we failed at all of the above, <laughs> we did what we do best. We made fun of each other for our failures. And as you know, heated debates are part of the American life, and heated debates are part of the fabric of The Woody Show. This year we have discussed several controversial topics because we will not be afraid to tackle the issues head on. Topics included, is it okay to put your dog's poop in other people's garbage cans? <laughs> no. Does it? Or does it not matter if you wash your legs in the shower? Do sex toys <laughs> make good gifts? And what is the laziest no. <laughs> or the sluttiest thing you've done lately? We have come together, regardless of gender or race, to determine the slang terms we are too old to use. Those include bay, hangry, fleek, clapback, and trill. <laughs> but, my fellow Woody Show members, we've also been torn apart on the issue of nose rings, oh. how to properly spread cream cheese on a bagel, whether or not animal crackers are solely for children. Moving forward, <laughs> yes. we must not yeah. lose sight of our disagreements, but we must be united in our quest for silliness and going off the rails. It is the hallmark of the Woody Show, and no enemies, foreign or domestic, shall take that away. Yes. We have had loss. We have had loss. We've lost affiliates in Salt Lake City, Des Moines, and San Francisco. Derg got his wish. The bitter old hippies who listened to K-Fog in San Francisco, who wouldn't know fun if it hit them over the head with a bong, got their wish. <laughs> We lost our beloved Julianne to budget cuts. We will miss her dearly. We miss hearing her stories of luxurious drunken vacations on a lake. But 2020 is going to see huge growth in the number of Woody Show cities. And we are in the works for more Woody Show countries, perhaps. It's going to be huge. Here we come, Afghanistan. Ladies and gentlemen, perhaps most noteworthy, we have expanded to a national level, Cartnarks. Cartnarks has single-handedly changed the American psyche, <laughs> proving <laughs> that no excuse can explain away lazy boneitis, proving that the ability to walk does not cease when the grocery shopping has been completed, proving that even a mother with children is indeed capable of returning a cart to a cart corral as it has been done since the advent of the modern shopping center. Our cart and arc officer, Seabass, you are an inspiration and a brave soul. We okay. are so honored to have you here this morning. The noble pursuit of cart and arcs has changed the American psyche. You have expanded cart and arcs to a national brand. You have instilled fear in the fat and the lazy. You've given food for thought to the thoughtless, and you've put Karens in their place. And for that, we owe you a great debt of gratitude. Yeah. 
You've taken us to the Folsom Street Fair. You've taught us about adult diaper play. You've taken us on the naked bike ride. You've gone where nobody else on the crew dares to go. The gathering of the Juggalos. The confrontation of Chris Brown fans. You followed Gronk to the beach, and you followed him out to sea. Nice. You've quizzed drunks for the DUIQ. <laughs> You've given a voice to those looking for love with too many fish. And four simple words, my fellow Americans. Cameo on the cheapo. And although, Seabass, you are not a gracious loser on the Woody Show Weakest Link, and although you cannot accept my near-perfect record on the smart-ass game, the future for you is brighter than your scalp. (laughs) Seabass, the the challenge ahead for you, let it be uh, announced, is to allow human interaction, to embrace a bless you when you sneeze. Allow a hello in the hallways. Make small talk at the coffee machine. Mr. Seabass, tear down that wall. Madam Ravy, it is a pleasure to have you oh, with us this morning. Babe. Your infectious laugh, your wit, your sarcasm, your unflinching defense of all things wizard. You <laughs> inspire young women to let their nerd flags fly. You give hope to thirsty men hoping to get a brawless glimpse at your jugs. <laughs> we thank you. You are America's work wife, a sports <laughs> fanatic with oddly encyclopedic knowledge of golf, a movie critic. <laughs> Who accepts suspending disbelief to the nth degree. <laughs> However, mm. my fellow Americans, challenge, challenges do lie ahead. Okay. In early 2019, Ravy, you took a home drug test. You told us it came back inconclusive <laughs> when we all know your blood is 72% THC. That was a bad test. <laughs> you continue to insist your sex number is seven, all seven. the while uh, insisting that women lie about their sex numbers. This must change. On that note, Many Woody Show listeners have suspected that you and I may be more than just friends, that you're more than just my work wife, as I often comment on the weapons of mass destruction hidden under your shirt. But I can assure you, I have never had sexual relations with that woman, Miss Ravy. (laughs) Sadly. Consider a little less Harry Potter news, far less exercise talk, and a bit of gambling humility. And this calendar year will be more golden than Betty White. Oh, for Ravy. <laughs> Gin talk. Sadly, this year has not been free from scandal. Executive producer Cameron took part in the infamous America Says oh, Gate. Oh, America no. Says Gate! Hiding the fact that he appeared on my favorite game show without so much as an invitation to the audition or an invitation to the team, knowing how much not only I regard the game, but also the host, John Michael Higgins. This was a scandal that rocked our foundation to the core. This was our personal Pearl Harbor. But alas, we do move <laughs> forward. Pearl Harbor? Wow. <laughs> We have avenged your treasonous behavior with relentless jokes about your fiance being your beard, your excitement over Luigi's mansion, and the vim and vigor with which you say Dalmatians. You brought us the Woody Show Weakest Link. What's that throwback sound? Stupid house hunters. And for that, we do thank and honor you. You are our shining city on a hill. And we look forward to all you have in store for us this year. Oh, Menace, our world traveler and diplomat, our Instagram addict. What a year it's been. Your engagement to Spicy Nacho, your obsession with flat earthers. You aim to keep America safe with warnings about the super volcano and the utmost vigilance for Bigfoot and keeping us off of railroad tracks. (laughs) The birth. Beware. The birth (laughs) of raccoon news is a gift to this great country. And you've introduced us to your good friend Dildar from the planet Zolkar. And for that, we thank you. When brainstorming on how to handle the alien convention was at hand, a myriad of convoluted ideas came up, but you kept it simple. Dildos on a helmet. Thank you. We thank you.
But friends, let us tread cautiously and carefully with confrontation. Resist not the menace word of the day. Embrace synonyms. Allow <laughs> learning new vocabulary. Ask not what the English language can do for you. Ask what you can do for the English language. Looking ahead, you have passed the torch of them screets to Randy. So let it loose from your grip. Let us not rely upon the excuse of, you're just old and white, for you are now in those ranks. And may the medical marvel of mouthwash grace us all while in your presence. <laughs> yeah! America loves you, little buddy. As for our fearless leader, Woody, you have made remarkable strides in the past 12 months. Your therapist deserves a Nobel Prize. You've been visibly happier. You've embraced saying goodbye to unhappy listeners through the advent of the crossroads. You realize the American dream of handing out full bars at Halloween. You are the inventor of news involving funny accents, and you have mastered all impersonations. You have rightly pointed out that here in America, we don't eat bats, we don't eat bugs. Why? We don't have to. We have cookie butter. <laughs> you have traveled our fine country, you've expanded the Woody Show brand, you've taken endless phone calls from head honchos, and you consistently stand up to management on not just our behalf, but the listener's behalf. And everyone thanks you. You have a backbone of steel enveloped in a body of insecurity. It may <laughs> enrage you, but it amuses all of us. You may have a small package, but you have a huge sense of humor. However, challenges lie ahead for our fearless leader as well. Looking to the future, America has spoken. One thing must stop. There is no need to explain that news headlines are intended to inform, <laughs> that we cover top stories of the day so you won't look uninformed All when right. talking to friends and neighbors and coworkers, that we read headlines so Ravy will know what's going on in the world, that we tell you the news so you can be knowledgeable about what's going on. Read my lips. No new explanations. <laughs> <laughs> With that one exception, you, Woody, have the Midas touch at the controls, and the state of your union is strong. And it is lit. Ladies and gentlemen, the Woody Show keeps going and it keeps growing. Love it or hate it, we shall continue to spread insensitivity training for a politically correct world. We shall continue to challenge the status quo and we shall always continue to put the listeners first for we are here for one reason, to get you through your mornings quickly so you can get through your workday and we shall do it while joining fun. Yes! May God bless you and may God bless the Woody Show. Nice work, Greg. Go wow. ahead. Thank you. Great. So good. Now, who's going to give the response? Oh, wait. i got to hand this to Menace so we can tear it up. Oh, Get it. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you said you needed mouthwash. <laughs> hey, word. Remain very quiet. Don't say anything. We'll be back soon. Pretty soon. Sort of soon. Soon, soon. The Woody Show.